Buenos dias a todos. Today we are going to go through some of the applications that have been coming in for the RCF program. Um, no official decisions have been made yet, but I wanted to kind of talk myself through uh, the, the scoring system we have here as well. Now, you are able to learn more about that scoring system inside RCF University. If you log in, I think this is going to take me to yep, this page. I wonder if I, who did I log in with? Oh, let's go back here. Open it up. Okay, we're just going to preview it. So we are inside RCF University. And right now, all this is, is, is teaching you and teaching folks about the RCF program. It does not yet have uh, courses filled in. Um, I'm starting to put in the advanced courses and then we'll have many courses that are available as well, but this is still not filled in. So we have estimates on demand and then we have cleaning team builder. Um, those are not in here yet. Of course, these are all blank. I do have uh, these courses already built. I just don't have them in RCF University yet. So enrollment is totally free. So you can come in here and understand everything there is to know about uh, the RCF program and um, Nurturely Plus as well, which is the software, software platform that we use to manage all the leads and manage the sales and opportunities. That module is not here um, yet, although it is, it's set up, it's just not active. So when you come in, you learn about what the RCF is, the application process and the eligibility, uh, and then what the RCF looks for. So like the program requirements. And this is basically, um, this is everything to know about the application process. So what we look for in a potential member is a, su a substantial market area. Um, put simply, it's difficult to operate where no one is. Like it's hard to generate a lead if there's a lack of population. So we have a scoring system that tells us which market areas that we should go after now and which we should and which of those we should put on the back burner and go after later. We're going to go after the bigger market areas first. Um, however, if you have a strong enough application, it will force our hand to at least review it and then have the conversation with you and go from there. Um, the application process is it's quite simple, broken down. You're going to submit an application. We will review it if it's triggered by our review team or our eligibility review, and then we are going to make a decision. From there, we're going to start reaching out to you and letting you know what's going on, uh, what we liked about your application, what we didn't like, um, some things that you can work on to then reapply and make yourself a better fit for the program, things like that. You will get the report card um, to show you kind of what areas you're lacking in so that you can work on those and then uh, reapply and go from there. You can only submit two applications um, throughout the year, so they have to be six months apart. Um, but if you applied and you're not eligible now, you're not gonna be eligible tomorrow. It's because you filled out the application in a way that we didn't like. Perhaps you're not delivering enough estimates per month or you're not closing enough clients per month. Um, after that, we have the member interview, then we'll go to onboarding and then the launch. That's a quite simplified uh, process, but you kind of get the idea um, there. So what we look for, um, this will have the actual scoring details in this tab here, um, but rounding this out, we, we welcome every any residential cleaning companies to apply no matter where you are, uh, no matter what stage you're at, because once you're in the, the RCF family, once you're within RCF University, you're going to learn all sorts of lead generation, all sorts of client acquisition strategies and tactics that you can use and apply to your business today without having anything to do with the RCF program. RCF program is different than RCF University. Remember, RCF University for right now is educating folks on the RCF program and how they can build their business to, to become eligible. Um, Again, only one application is allowed per six months for a maximum of two per year. Um, it's very important to properly fill out and complete your application. Uh, we've had a number of them come in and uh, I can tell that there are, it's called articulation. If you cannot, your ability to describe your follow-up process is, is a very important question on the application and that's called articulation. 
Um, so if you, you're wanting to apply, you'll be able to come in here and click this button and we will have a link in here where you can go and actually fill out the application. It is um, at rcf.nurturely.io forward slash application and you begin it right here. All right, so let's get over to the applications and we will discuss what we like and what we don't like. So some of them in here, at least for the first few, we haven't officially accepted anyone from these applications. Um, these three that are in here are um, two members that we already have, and then this is Custom Made Space City, which is the cleaning company that I personally own. So while they're not technically, they're an RCF member by proxy because I want to put them in that pool and put them in the community of RCF members to help compete and help uh, hold each other accountable and grow as well. So. No one has yet been um, accepted, but we are reviewing and we are deciding on a few. If they are yellow, that means they are not yet ready for decision. Um, these two are an exception because it goes green at 150. And, um, well, this one needs to be reviewed too. All green ones earn a review. That's it. Um, we're graded on market area, growth, team, acquisition, and outreach. All of those added together get your score, but there's also another score, app score here, which um, is totally internal, and we are not going to um, release those scoring metrics. So like this score is basically all of this added up plus this here. Um, you can see what your score is, but you're not going to know how to get to it. This is going to be the most frustrating part of the application score because you have control um, over these four aspects. Well, really, you have control over your app score. You just don't know what it is yet. And this is because we don't want these scores are given based on the multiple choice questions within the application. So if you try to trick the app score, um, that really degrades the integrity of the program. So we're not going to tell you um, basically how to get a good score there. We will tell you how to get a good score in these four categories. And finally, your market area, you really don't have any control over um, unless you plan on moving to a bigger area. Like I said, the bigger the area, the better, the better we can operate. And I'm going to show you something interesting here. Custom Aids, my company, doesn't even trigger a review here. Um, we are below the 150 threshold, yet we dominate in team size and acquisition. It's not, the market area is is kind of uh, a hindrance. So this is one of the areas that I may tweak a little bit. And I'll explain why. Any market area, which is a 30 mile radius around your headquarters location. Um, I, I, if you're like in Los Angeles, I know you're not gonna service 30 miles, but this is just a rule of thumb that we use to determine the market area score. If you're in one of the biggest mar market areas, or metro areas of the US, you are gonna max out this score. You can see most of them have a 65. That's, it's the highest you can get unless you, you get over, I don't think I have it, yeah. 65 is the highest you can get. Um, but if you're below that, it starts r really hurting your score. You can see a couple minus thousands here. Um, that's because like in Johnson City, Kansas, 30 miles around there, there's only 11,000 people. I can't work with that. Like the program can't work with that. Not in this fashion. This one here has 35,000 people in Jackson, Wyoming. We also can't work with that. So it's an automatic decline. Um, that's not saying that they can't be part of the RCF University. We just can't have them into the RCF program at present because we're spending ads. We're spending money on ads to, to generate leads and acquire clients. If there's not enough people there, it's going to cost so much that the finder's fee doesn't make up for it. That finder's fee, whenever you, when you acquire a new recurring client, the RCF is owed $250, basically just like a referral program that you, you have. Uh, we go out and we do whatever we can to find those recurring client opportunities so that you can close it and then that's how we get paid. We do not pay or charge you ad spend. We do not charge you management fees or anything like that. And you'll never pay, you'll never have any hidden fees. It's going to be, hey, you've signed a client, you've cleaned their house, you've gotten to know them, and they've paid their invoice. Now you owe us a $250 finder's fee on the first of the following month. That's all it is. It is very simple. Um, 
$250. Yeah, it, it is it is a lot of money. But when you're talking about a recurring client, let's take a bi-weekly client, for example. They're going to pay you $150 every time you go there. So let's say you're there twice a month. You're going to get $300 from them. At a 20% profit margin, let's see what that is. 300 times 0.2. That's $60. So as a company at one month, that one client is going to profit you as the business owner $60 after you've paid your taxes, after you've paid your employees and all of that. So now your number of $60 per profit per month is very important. You paid us $250. So now you have to keep that client for four months to break even. By the time you hit month five, month six, month seven, you're pure profit. You only pay us a finder's fee one time, but as you keep your clients, if you are able to keep these clients and grow your book of business, that's where the power comes in. If you come into the program and you start acquiring clients and you start paying finder's fees and you are not able to keep your clients and they cancel on you, one, you're probably going to get expelled. Two, you're not going to profit from that. You're going to struggle profiting. You will still profit, but you're not going to enjoy uh, the unparalleled success that members do in the RCF program. So getting a client is one thing. Keeping the client is a whole other thing. We will take care of the aspect of getting you the client because we can show you all of the opportunities in your area. And those are the people that are super easy to talk to. You can get those people to become a client. And then it's on you to acquire them and keep them. We will take care of everything acquiring that lead and acquiring that sales opportunity. And you will be given all the tools and resources to convert that opportunity. If you have a CRM already, um, well, <laughs> it's a very slim chance that you'd make it into the program if you don't already have a CRM because that just shows that you're at that next level of growth. Um, once you get too big, you don't have a choice but to use a CRM. So if you're a smaller company, you can kind of get away with pen and paper or Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. But when you get, once you get bigger, you need software to keep track of everything because you just do. Um, so if you don't have a CRM, it's really hard to envision success within the, R within the RCF because you need to be able to accept 10 new clients starting month five with us. We're going to have kind of a ramping up period, but by month five, you have to be able to absorb 10 new recurring clients every month without trouble. If there's trouble, you 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 run the risk of of falling into probation within within the RCF program. Um, so there, there there's no throttling. You must be able to take on ten, at least ten every month, uh, and that's that that ultimately shows here um, in the results into the application scores. Growth. Now that is um, a little different. So that's basically saying you know what you're at. 5,000 in revenue and you want to get to 10,000, you're going to get a factor of two. What we do then is take that number and multiply it by two. It's very simple to kind of figure out what that number is. So let's take, this example is my favorite. Actually, nope, this one is because it's enormous. This person triggered a review when they shouldn't have, and they did it solely based on their growth mindset. And I'm not, I'm not upset with that. Their app score, application score, First one is not very good. Their market area is not terrible, but it's not great. It's just south of me in Columbia, Le Lexington, South Carolina. Um, team score, not great, um, but they do, I think, have an admin. They do have an office staff, and that's one of the requirements, so that's all right. Even though it's a bad team score, they at least have the admin person, and I can kind of work with that. But they're still not out of the, wo out of the woods yet. Let's see what we've got here. Under acquisition, they are delivering seven to 10 estimates per month, but they are only acquiring less than three. I like seeing this seven to 10 number, so that, that that's big for me, but they're not able to convert that many. So they're either pricing it themselves too high or they're really bad at conversion. Let's see. They are charging $65 an hour, and that is above average. So this would make sense. This is starting to tell a story with me that, that, that this person in Colombia is, is willing to wait for high quality clients who are willing to pay those hourly premiums. We have the same mindset at Custom Aids. So I see this application and I see that 
it's a very average application, if not subpar overall. Um, I would say it's average because I, I see the acquisition and it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. The outreach could be better. Um, they are taking 20 minutes to get back to their leads, but if they were to drop it down to five, they would be giving themselves 20 more points in acquisition there. So if you're able to get in, with, get in touch with leads within like 10, 15 minutes, you have a massive boost in your outreach. Um, but if you if you if you try to fudge this on your application, we are going to be able to quickly tell like within the first two weeks if you lied because we track all of the leads. We can see how quickly you get back to them. Um, then we have whether or not they use a CRM. And then I have the last thing here is called articulation. Articulation is being able to explain your follow up process to me and um, a lot of people are not. There's a lot of no's in here. So I just, uh, the last like six were, were no. Um, basically this is, you're just trying to tell me like, hey, uh, a lead comes in and we reach out with a text message. If they don't get back to us, we call them. If we don't hear from them, then we send them an email. The next day we follow up, day three we follow up. It's like that kind of a explanation. If you can break it down and tell me that way and tell the board that way, you're going to get points for articulation. You have to be able to describe it. Basically, that's that's signaling that you have a follow-up process. Some people are just saying, oh, we call them, or oh, we, we, we give them the benefits. We tell them the benefits. That's not follow-up, that's selling. I want to know your follow-up process because you're going, you're, you're going to win maybe 3% of opportunities on that first try. You must be trying three, five, seven times in order to give yourself a, sh a shot. So if you don't have a follow-up, I don't you don't have a process there you're not going to have any kind of system that gives me confidence in saying you're going to take care of my leads and convert them so you won't get points for articulation and that suffers on the application there articulation is by far the most important aspect of the uh, of the application it's not the most points it's the most important part because if you don't have articulation you're not getting into the program no matter else, no matter what anything else is. You need to be able to have a follow-up system in place already. And the whole point of that is we can't be running around with like a chicken with its head cut off. Once we start sending you leads, you need to be hit the you need to hit the ground running and, and being able to effectively convert the, these folks into clients. If it's not there, we're going to waste a lot of money. The program is going to waste a lot of money. And it's it just simply it simply won't work. So take your time on the articulation question. Honestly, even if you don't give me what I want to hear, even if we don't see that, if if we can see that you spent time on that question, we're probably going to give you the nod there because we see the effort. And if we see the effort, we can work with that. We cannot work well with someone where we want the success for their company more than they do. I've tried that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, so if your follow-up process is there and you can articulate that, you will get articulation points. Um, I hope this helped explain a little bit more about the RCF application process and the scoring. Um, it doesn't, you can go back into uh, RCF University, see uh, what the RCF looks for. And if you scroll down, you'll see um, the modules and the scoring details, like I said, as well. Um, it just has it listed out what you'd get as far as points and then each module it's just telling you like why it's important um and finally i didn't really finish on this uh what we look for in a potential rcf member now that you've seen the application we're going to come back to this and i'm going to round all this out so i think you were staying with me for these 20 minutes um you got to have a substantial market area you've got to have clear revenue goals you've got to have a growth mindset dedicated admin or office staff. You should know what your acquisition cost is already because our finder's fee is $250.
If it costs you less than $250 to acquire a client, this might not make the most sense. Now, if you are not able to scale and, and grow like your lead volume or your sales opportunity volume at that specific cost, then the RCF program might be, might be something for you. Um, we also look for prompt time to lead numbers. We, we, we will verify this. So if you fudge this, you're going to be outed quickly and the misrepresentation is is grounds for ex program expulsion as well. So I need to know what your honest truth is for your TTL metric. How many minutes does it take for you on average to respond to a brand new fresh house cleaning estimate request or lead? Um, again, being able to articulate the follow-up process, I won't go through that again, I already touched on that. Um, and a, minis a minimum number of estimate deliveries I just need to see that you're out and actually delivering estimates every month. If that number is at like three, it's not going to work because you're going to get have to do like 30 estimates with the RCF. And, and, and that's really hard to go from three to 30. Like you're going to have growing pains that we are not interested in coaching you on yet. RCF U University, the RCF program is so new that we don't have that training yet to bring you from zero up until you're ready for the program. We will very soon, but we don't yet. So. If you don't have, um, if you don't think you're a, a great fit for the RCF program, it does not hurt to apply. At the very least, you're going to find where your where your 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 scores lack, and then you can know how to improve it and then apply again. So if your first time applying, you full on know that you're not going to make it, but you want to hear our thoughts and see how you can um, beef your 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 company up so that you're you're perfect for this program. That 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 works too. That I have we have no problem with that. The RCF program will blow up your company in terms of client acquisition. So you, you're welcome to apply, but if you apply and you're not ready, you're going to find out where you're deficient and find out how how you can get ready. Once you're once you're accepted into this program, it, it's it's quite insane, really. So um, just in terms of growth and client acquisition and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in applying. I will have a link below or above this video so that you can uh, go check out RCF University uh, as well uh, and also applying for the program. I will have both of these links so that you can you can just check it out at your leisure. There's no pressure. There's no urgency or scarcity on this. I just wanted to give you uh, as much information about our, the RCF program, the application scoring and the process, as well as um, RCF University. So. I know you didn't plan to stick with me for, for 23 minutes here, but I really do thank you for your time. I look forward to uh, meeting you at least uh, because I know if you've spent this much time learning about the RCF, you, you, you are someone that um, someone I should be speaking to at least because um, it just kind of indicates a growth mindset there in and of itself. So hope you have a great day, great evening, make it a great week and keep growing that company. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.